experts at Yellowstone National Park claim to have witnessed an eruption of steamboat geyser on Thursday night. The Park Service announced the world's tallest active geyser on Friday, while geologists compared the report with thermal sensors in the area. It has been determined that the geyser is likely a series of smaller eruptions. The geyser can shoot water more than 90 meters, 300 feet, during a major eruption. New Zealand's geyser has even shot higher, though that hasn't happened in over 100 years. This activity is sure to raise concerns among volcano watchers who fear the supervolcano. Located about 24 kilometers, 15 miles south of the geyser, is about to erupt. Yellowstone National Park has more than 10,000 thermal features, located at the summit of the world's largest volcano. This geyser can shoot 2,000 times more material into the sky than an eruption of Mount Street Helens. A series of earthquakes has rocked the Earth over the past few months, with as many as 200 recorded in a few days. Some experts say the volcano is under stress. However, researchers say the steamboat eruption has nothing to do with volcanoes like Yellowstone. Jacob Lowenstern, a former scientist who led the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, told the Casper Star and Tribune, the plumbing system is in the top few hundred feet of the Earth. The hotter and deeper it is, the lower the permeability and the lower the ability of the water to move. The deeper you go, the less connected you are to the reservoir. Meteorologist Tom Skilling told WGN News, small earthquakes occur in the Yellowstone region 50 or more times a week, but a major eruption is not expected anytime soon. Steamboat Geyser is located in the Norris Geyser Basin, which is currently closed to vehicle access due to spring plowing. Later in the spring, the road will be open to bicycles. Another geyser, Old Faithful, erupts at fairly predictable intervals, but geologists believe steamboat geyser eruptions are nearly impossible to predict. Between 2005 and mid-2013, the geyser did not erupt once. Steamboat geyser then erupted on the 31st of July 2013 and again on the 3rd of September 2014 according to a report published by the United States Geological Survey. In the past, intervals between eruptions at Steamboat Geyser have been recorded as short as four days to 50 years. Yellowstone's last volcanic eruption occurred 700,000 years ago, ago. And experts say these eruptions occur approximately every million years. Last year, Seismologists from UNAVCO, a nonprofit consortium run by universities, revealed that the volcano was under stress. Using global positioning systems, GPS, borehole tilt meters, and borehole strain gauges to measure small changes in deformation at Yellowstone, David Menson and Glenn Mattioli said the strain signal is larger than expected if the crust beneath Yellowstone were truly solid. On the 24th of May, 2023, observers at Geyser Hill in Yellowstone's Upper Geyser Basin near Old Faithful witnessed something not seen in two years, the eruption of Geyser Orem. This modest size but charismatic geyser is located at a bend in the trail around Geyser Hill in front of a gravel pool filled with geyser eggs, fine pebbles made of mineral layers deposited from the geyser's water. According to citizen scientists, Arum appeared to erupt nearly 30 times over 14 days. The eruption sent a plume of air about six meters into the air, 